Hey everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Now, today we started things off at the location where we ended last episode, the farm. Um, there have been some changes here. I'm not sure if this craft bot was here last time, but certainly there's a lot of things that have changed. First of all, there's this monstrosity here, which is where I tested an automatic farming system, and it was totally terrible and did not work because um the main reason is that um it was able to collect the crops okay but it doesn't want to automatically replant them because apparently this thing will not attempt to automatically replant a crop once it's farmed until it gets a a, a fresh signal or pulse so that wasn't going to happen because if i just rapidly pulse it just shot everything out and broke everything so yeah, I might need to just tear the system down and forget about it. But, besides that, we have also made a few chests to store stuff around here. As you can see, I've also built up this brick wall around the outside of everything, so that we're a bit more protected here. And I did not really do much farming because I was busy, but... Oh, uh, that's seeds. But we do have a whole bunch of this stuff, which we can use to trade with the... um farmer trader guy to get a lot of uh, crap to get some better seeds which we need to trade for the spud gun um now this thing which is currently sinking into the water slightly this is the squeak mobile from last episode i also realized that last episode i didn't have it, um, obs recording my speakers also i have changed some settings in obs to hopefully make sure that it looks smoother now um, but yeah, I changed this up a little bit. I was thinking I wasn't gonna, but then I realized that it'd probably be better to actually put the piston engine, like, just slap the piston engine directly onto the axle of the pit, of the wheels, instead of, like, having a gear, because the gear slips, which makes it so that the full power can be transferred, but this means the full power is directly on the wheels, which makes this better, and it can carry more weight, that means. I also transformed this into a vehicle that can carry a whole bunch of weight. As you can see, I've put chests here for now, because this is going to be what we're going to be using for the uh, to put the items into the packing station. Um, this will be removed, but this can also therefore transport a lot of other stuff, like the packages we get from the packing station, etc., etc. There's also some chests on here, and I've also encased the piston engine in metal too, so that it's kind of protected from um, any farm bots that make come by and try to hurt this thing and the main reason for that is because i know specifically durf has been saying that the reason why he does not like piston engines is because a farm bot just came up and one shot at his and like completely just oh this is getting stuck it just completely destroyed his suspension car or his suspension glitch drive car and that was because he made it out of weak materials also there's i think a glitch in the game right now where literally um, any multi-block object, like a chest or a seat, can just be one-shotted by a farm bot, and its durability has zero effect on whether that happens or not, so that's an issue. Anyhow, yeah, um, let's go to the packing station. Alright, everyone, so I have made my way over here to the vegetable packing station here, and as you can see, um, as soon as these two pulled up with the correct item inside, um, these two things have opened up, so um, I have these switches hooked up, I believe, yep, so if I now just click this... Yep, it starts to automatically... Are you serious? I have to pulse this? Can I just leave it on and have it automatically fill it up? Oh, that sucks. Okay, uh, give me a moment while I press the switch about half a million times. Alright, now that I've unloaded everything, gotta back it up here. Um, I will have to actually go and remove all these chests and vacuum pumps here so I can start fitting this stuff on, but don't worry, I kind of plan for this. As you can see, I have markers on the floor for where these are supposed to go. And then I just simply pick up these and come and place them here. It's this simple, and then this goes right to the trader, although actually, hold up, I think this thing needs a better placement. All right, there we go. We are all loaded up here. So now we just have to take all of this to the trader, which is like directly behind this building here. So that should be easy. Just go right around back. Hopefully there are no farm bots in the way. Also, hopefully this piston engine is powerful enough at the moment. I might need to upgrade the pistons and make them uh, faster a bit, but hopefully it shouldn't be an issue. 
All right, everybody. So we are coming up to the trader here. Oh, there was a lag spike there for some reason. Hope that wasn't anything big spawning in. Well, like it could be. Actually, it really could be. That's kind of under. Anyhow, the kind of. I don't know what what, what would you call this. I guess this is like a transport vehicle. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. Anyhow, we're gonna roll right on up to the uh, uh, what sucky thingy here. Okay. And we're just gonna spam push this button. So oh, it sucks them all right off the vehicle. The order is not important, I guess. Okay, nothing else. Then we can come right on over here to the trader. <laughs> and we're gonna want some of these. Oh, it requires three? Ah, fudge. Okay, in order to get the oranges, I'll have to get some more tomatoes. But I can buy blueberries, right. which is already important for the spud gun. I also need to find one of these farmer dudes, and that shouldn't be that big an issue. Okay, that's also some of that. Anyhow, so now we have blueberry seeds, which means it's time to do a round of farming where we we'll plant some tomatoes and some blueberries. And to pack these blueberries, I will go. Uh, oops, I will need to be going over to the fruit packing station, which is just a bun uh, uh, further down the road. So not that big of a deal. So yeah. Uh, I'll be back in a little while. Oh yeah, something I forgot to mention is I also built a new vehicle here for specifically drilling. It has the two drills on the front, has some resource collectors, and a resource... What, what is this? A, re a refinery bot here to automatically refine everything, which is really useful. It gets me a lot of resources. Anyhow, yes. So I'm raiding some warehouses, and uh, this is a little bit scary. I uh, don't have a spud gun yet, which we may get later in this episode, but there's a uh, big red and scary over there just doing who knows what. I'm going to see if I can just sneak around him. Just sneak by here. I mean, I know his range is his actual how far away he can see crap is like really, really bad, but I don't want to get into a fight with that guy as I will die. Well, if I die, I have a few times today. Ah! Oh, hey, bot! Gosh, gosh darn it. That is the first boss that I've seen. Yeah, anyhow, back to what I was doing. Alright, I packaged up all the resources here. Now we just have to... Um, now we just have to load them onto the car, and, and then we'll be off to the traders to drop them off as... Now, the only then I'll have to go out and find some caged farmers, as that's going to be the only remaining ingredient left in the uh, ability to make, to purchase a spud gun. And I want to purchase two actually, so that if Jared e. Cool ever comes back and joins me again, I can he can also have one without having to have too much more of a grind out of me. Okay, guess we gotta just put this one up top. You know, this vehicle is really great for transporting stuff, as you just have this giant front bed here, which is great for holding stuff. Alright, so should just be able to do this, then it's off to the trader I go. Alright guys, so I have not found a farmer yet to take to the um, trader, but I just found one of the ultimate hacks to get out of being raided at a farm. So I, I just logged out as there was a raid timer counting down because I had to go to the bathroom and didn't want the raid coming while I was in the bathroom. And I just came back into the world and the raid timer is completely gone. So if you log out just before midnight, the raid will never strike. This is a hack. I also found out that to soil has a dehydration timer that even if you water it now, after that timer is expired, it will dehydrate no matter what's on top of it. So um, it's best to actually water your crops after they're planted. That way you make sure that they're hydrated for their whole growing cycle. Anyhow, yes, let's go find a trader to, or a caged farmer to bring to the trader. Alright guys, so I built a lumber cutting car here for, well, obvious reasons, to cut lumber. And it has um, a few nice features here. The main thing is that the saws are, um, well, right now I'm pushing a tote by head, but they are right next to each other and always horizontal like that. There's also this thing to, to try to make the tree not fall on me, although I find it doesn't work too well, but 
We could show by going up to this tree here, if we just turn this thing on, completely cuts down the tree instantly. Boing. And not much left there. I also put made two level 5 engines for this, and that took forever, because level 5 engines are freaking expensive. They take like 30 component kits each. But yeah, and then actually, I can simply just... Whoop. Of course, this thing has four-wheel steering, because obviously it has to be maneuverable in the forest, or the old forest. So you can just go right along here like this, to take out the entire tree. And we can turn that off in here. And as you can see, I've actually been using it a little bit. There's now a clearing from here down to the ocean. Um, and so yeah, I will be using this to clear out this place because I'm probably gonna make my base actually over the ocean. So yeah, anyhow. Um, next. Alright everyone, so I'm approaching the fruit packing station here to, well, obviously package up all the fruits that I have been farming recently so we can get our hands on a spud gun now. I know there was a boss bot, or as I'm going to call it, the harvester bot, because that's what they essentially do, right around this packing station last I checked, and I don't want to run into him. Let's hope he's not over by the um, actual inputs here. If he's behind that wall, I don't care, because he won't be able to see me. And, okay, this looks good. So, like, so the way I've designed this is he should just be able to roll right up to that. Oh, hello, Mr. Haybot. It wasn't so hard. Anyway, um, okay, so now I have blueberries in this chest and oranges in that chest, right? So I guess we'll go one at a time here. So I've made a lot, a little pulsing logic circuit here, which I can just hook up to this to not kill my keyboard or mouse by having to spam click this stuff. Alright, looks like it's working, so I'll be back once I have all the things strapped onto the car. Alright everyone, so, a few things here. Um, first of all, I caught a farmer here. I, he was literally the only one in the camp that I found, which was in the bottom of a, which was literally, uh, like, lower than the rest of the terrain around it, so that was kind of annoying. Um, but second of all, you can see that I made some modifications to the car here. So first of all, there's the driver's seat here is completely enclosed. We're driving in the opposite direction now because I felt like this direction was a little bit faster. Also, now it kind of is more like one of those European semi-trucks that are just completely flat-fronted, which I guess makes more sense. Um, also, I've downgraded the pistons that this thing uses to level 3, or actually swapped them out for level 3 pistons, because apparently level 5 pistons are very bad for piston engines, as they're just too strong, so they just go really, really stiff and slow. Level 3 is actually faster than level 5 for a piston engine, which is kind of weird so yeah i did that um i also made an extra little blip there at right here so i can eventually put some logic there also just to make this area a bit bigger so i can have more chests and stuff in here man it's actually kind of hard to get out of here when i because i've caged this thing up for the farmer dude so he doesn't escape anyhow suck him up i can now get rid of all of this excess wood here and get my hands on a spud gun yay Alright guys, here it is, spud gun. Boom, I don't have any potatoes on me, because why would I at this point, but... Yeah, woo! I can now defend everything at a ranged, and that means it's... Um, that means after I farm out a whack ton of potatoes, I could go um, defeat the boss that is around the fruit packing station. And maybe even be able to enter one of those warehouses, although I wouldn't want to do that just yet. Anyhow, um, let's get back to the mechanic shop. I have so much scrap wood that this is registering star out of 20. <laughs> wow. Alright everyone, so I've come out to the fruit packing station here because there's a boss just around this wall last I knew. I want to see if I can now take him on that I got the spud gun. This may be a grave mistake, and I also should make sure I've slept in the bed right here. So, um, yeah, uh, let's see if all goes well. Right, there he is. So my plan is to just hop, or shoot him from a distance as long as I can. But also have a backup plan. So I've made some metal three here, which will be hard for him to get through. And also, I know he gets stuck 
under this here, but if I could just create a wall here. Oh, this is such a cool texture with a slip for me to shoot through. Um, that should be able to make it so that he gets, he, I can get stuck on the wall and just shoot him through there, but let's start by, I guess, shooting him from a huge distance and see what happens. So I might die here and I have some good stuff on me, like mainly a lot of potatoes. So yeah, let's see what happens. Okay. He's angry now. Keep shooting. Maybe I can keep shooting him before he gets here. Nope. Okay. Okay, shoot at him as he's stuck at the really strong metal wall, which I believe might actually be immune to explosions. I got him! I did it! Hey! Now he's gonna explode. Wall completely survives unharmed. Let's go. So now I got the warehouse key. Two circuit boards? Come on! I know in the beta builds he, uh, or in the pre-release for the YouTubers, he completely dropped five component kits and five circuit boards but hey at least I got something right um it looks like there's also a loot crate out there so I'm gonna go get that but yay first successful major battle with the spot gun of course I have been using it on actual farm bots that have been trying to raid the farm that I was using to get all these potatoes but yay forest what forest <laughs> there's no forest here clearly um yeah guys so um I've done a lot of uh, log removal over here and remove like the entire forest from this hill and it makes it so much more open and I can clearly see the mechanic shop right here from the farming island which has changed significantly since the beginning of the episode so um yeah first of all this whole area out here has actually expanded it's been it was actually a while ago that I did the initial expansion here but yeah um craft bot is still here he's off to the side I have my bed over here as usual um I recently moved my seeds out of these chests here because it was starting to just overflow them and just place them all down here and you can, as you can see I have a lot of potato and blueberry seeds um I have a couple chests here to store some some of my items actually some potato seeds in there right now um I could go move these I don't think I have an empty uh here here's my slightly empty sack and I got to place more over here that's starting to take up space anyhow um yeah, I got my fertilizer I have a light that's shining down here to light up this area but more importantly I have a very professionalized irrigation system here now so instead of what I previously had before which was well one of these uh, water cannons here which just shot up in the air and randomly watered these crops I've gotten serious about that so I have gotten a line of I think this is eight water cannons and I simply just press the switch they will water every plot of farmland here now the way this works is pretty simple so first of all I have some level 5 pistons over here that obviously will purchase this thing out now it's on these rails on the sides mainly just to keep this thing from dipping down and to keep this thing going straight um so they have each side has this little track here um now on this end over here there's a colored sensor right here which reads the color from the colors that are painted here and every time it gets to one to one of these it simply just activates the every single um water can here to shoot water down to the crops which is how i controlled that um and then it's obviously hooked up to this tank of water here and it's that it's that simple so yeah um whatever's happening next okay so here's this weird thing this guy ain't dying I don't have many spuds left, so I don't want to do You might die. Yeah, you die in three hits. This guy ain't dying. That's a problem. Nope, nothing. WTF. This is not good. Also kind of fast, which is kind of annoying. And he can destroy blocks. Like, I have seen him destroy some glass. This is not good in the slightest. He can hurt me, right? Yeah, he can hurt. But I can't hurt him. Dummy Jeff is this. Um, so I came back from chopping out down the rest of the trees out here, and, uh, the giant gap in this wall here. The front of this car is almost completely obliterated. And there were a couple farm bots in here. 
don't think they destroyed anything major, but I think they broke in because somehow a couple walks got in here. This is why you don't put walks. You see, there's a couple walk stakes in here. This is why you don't put walks inside of your your base, because especially if the farm bots catch whiff of them, they're gonna come and kill everything. Like they completely dis disabled the front of my car here. Although they didn't break the wheels or any of the bearings attached to them, they just kind of um, cut down the front of this vehicle. Good thing they didn't touch the piston engine over here. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, I gotta go fix this now. Alright guys, so um, I just quickly wanted to talk about what I'm going to be doing here in the next episode. So I'm going to be starting to actually build the base, kind of out this way over the water because um, farm bots don't spawn in the water and also nice open flat real estate here that would be perfect for placing some blocks and building a base. Um, but I don't want to spoil that too much and I kind of want to get to work on that and says that we have deforested like every everything on this side of the road that's near the mechanic station here so yeah with that i'm gonna have to say thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe check out the discord link in the description and i'll see you all in the next episode of scrap mechanic bye